Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Woodworks and today we are joined by my fiance Julia. Hi. Who's finally joining us for a video. Um, so today we're going to be doing the 10K giveaway video. We're going to be making some multi-die stabilized pen blanks and then also a block as well. And we'll get more into the giveaway portion later in the video, but first let's get into some casting. So let's get right into it. So here's the multi-dyed box elder burl we'll be using for the pen blanks. It went through the same exact multi-die process for all four pieces. So uh, obviously there's going to be some variation throughout the multi-die processing. The way the die works through uh, capillary action is always going to be different in any single piece of wood, even if it's from the same exact wood, uh, which this box elder burl is. Um, but the colors are all the same, as you guys will see very uh, at, at the very end. So what's really nice about having Julia help me out in this video, and she's helped me out in the past in the shop too, um, doing some some really cool pours, is I was able to hand her that first cup, and also look how fast she is. Uh, it's definitely not sped up or anything like that. Um, <laughs> but so while I was mixing and weighing the other cup, she was able to mix this one. And you guys will see later on when we do the block that has like six or seven colors or so, it was really helpful to have her for that too. So we're doing teal and uh, white pearl for this. And all of the powders we're using for these are caster's choice. And you guys will see how beautiful they are. And you guys will see towards the end of the video too, all of the caster's choice powders we are giving away, which is a ton. Big thank you to Brian and Sarah at Caster's Choice for sending it out for you guys. Definitely um, go check them out on their Instagram. And you can find their products at Turner's Warehouse and, and many other online places as well. So big thank you to them. Um, I'm sure we all are going to enjoy it. So there's the teal and there's the purple. As you guys can see, it's just beautiful. I love using their stuff. What I've found also, that's a big advantage to Pearl X is that it mixes better like the powders they must be finer because they mix better there's the buckeye burl that we'll be casting um, but i wanted to finish on the caster's choice is that it also doesn't clump up which happens with pearl x sometimes which makes it uh, harder to mix in or take longer so now we're just mixing that up um i think we're doing six or seven seven colors or, or something like that two four six seven eight i believe uh i mean i may be off a little bit but um you guys can count there for yourself if you'd like so we're using all of these caster choice powders i have many more as i mentioned that they sent out for us to give away but i didn't want to break into any of them because i want uh, any more of them i should say because i wanted to keep as many as I could unopened for you guys. So this is the epitome of how helpful it is to have somebody else uh, casting with you. As you guys could see with Julia helping me set it up and mix everything. So right now I'm using a infrared um, temperature gun. You can find that on the tools I use page in the description below. I have a link of all that. And you want, if you're gonna use something like that, it's the best temperature from 95 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit to get color swirl, which is what we're trying to do here. Because as you guys can see, it's much easier to see in person and kind of feel, but the resin is much more gel-like. It started to thicken up, and what that allows for is the colors to bleed less. So if you're mixing uh, or trying to swirl a red and blue, you're much more likely to have actually red and blue swirls rather than purple. So uh, that's a really nice addition that I got over Christmas, thanks to Julia, <laughs> actually, she got that for me. And um, they're also really reasonably priced. I wouldn't recommend getting any of the super fancy ones. You just need um, one of, the, one of the, the more simpler ones. So check that out if you guys are interested in uh it's a new thing to me rather than having to kind of ballpark and guess and and wait i just use that now so one of the things i've also noticed that helps with color swirls if you're trying to get a um kind of an even distribution is to kind of pour it lightly where that the resin kind of lands on top of the resin whereas if you pour it forcefully 
it can dive down into the middle of the resin. I hope that makes sense, but um, you're basically pouring it slowly enough that it's not diving all the way down in there. And that allows you to kind of put the resin exactly where you want and then you can come back through with a popsicle stick or a barbecue skewer in my case and put it where you want by swirling it. So I'm right now I'm just kind of scraping out all of the cups making sure that I get everything that's in there because we almost had enough to uh, cover that final tip if you guys can see on the bottom of the Buckeye Burl and we end up getting pretty pretty close after scraping everything out. So like I mentioned with the barbecue skewer, once these are all scraped out, I'm going to go through it just a little bit to add swirls. I've also found with Illumilite, because the resin moves as it's curing, you don't always have to use a popsicle stick or a skewer yourself. It definitely helps with getting the tight swirls like those, but you don't have to. So I'm putting it into my Harbor Freight pressure pot, and uh, since they wouldn't fit um, into my, my mold rack. Uh, I ended up filling it up pretty slowly, as you guys will see in a second. And uh, I will also show you guys how the resin is still viscous enough. <laughs> um, it, it's still viscous enough that we can tell it hasn't started curing fully yet. So that's how I always check when it's starting to um, get in the pressure pot and I'm filling it up is if the resin's still able to flow, then you should be good, right? Because if it's still flowing, then it's not to the point where bubbles are gonna get trapped. So we're good to go. And here are the pen blanks. I'm super, super happy with how they came out. The multi die is just beautiful, in my opinion. This box elder burl takes it so, so well. Um, you know, it's, you can really see the, the different lines of colors and I'm really excited to see some of the pens made by you guys with these. So those are the teal ones. Um, I'm just spraying them with some spray lacquer to show you guys the, the true color. And I, I really like them. Let me know what you guys think about those. And here are the purple ones. What's really cool about the um, box elder piece on the left of that blank, which is on the top of of these uh it since it was a like the very top part of the of the box elder burl cap the lines are, are kind of layered vertically depending on how you're holding it or um so it it looks really cool almost like a rainbow so i really hope you guys like these pen blanks i think they're going to be a really cool addition and here is a different block not the block that i made um on camera for you guys but a block that took dye really really well it's maple burl and uh, I wanted to give this away to you guys as well because I'm really happy with how the resin came out on the buckeye burl block you guys will see in a second but the piece of burl wasn't dyed as well when I uh, was dye stabilizing it as I thought here it is the resin looks awesome I think it looks really really wild super cool and you guys can see there was some penetration on the on the box elder or sorry the buckeye burl but not that much so i hope you guys still like it i think it's still going to turn into into some really cool products this is all the caster's choice powders that i was sent from them so i will have a link in the description to the places you can buy this the place i would recommend that i've used before is turnerswarehouse.com but anyway, as you guys can see, there are tons in here. There's two levels in each of these boxes. I, I'm not going to take the time to count, but I would say just between the two of these, there's probably close to 40 or 50. And then there's these two little boxes here. And so what I'm planning on doing is this will be a giveaway um, entry like for a winner. So will this be? And then... I'm either going to do, and the, the details will be in the description on what I decide, is either just winning one color can be uh, an entry, like if you win an entry, I should say, or maybe two, right? You know, so you get like purple and white or something, two colors that obviously are different. Um, I'm tempted to do that because, it, you know, obviously if we just did one, 
everybody, or I shouldn't say everybody, but there would be a ton more winners that way. But then again, I feel like it's kind of a nice, nice prize if if you can get two two different colors. So uh, I am I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with the two. Um, and then if there's any that it, it doesn't add up to two, and there's you know like one left over or or something like that, then obviously just one person will get one. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that. I'll probably have the decision made in the description. But there's going to be a ton. And since I know a lot of you guys are people who watch, um, or I should say a lot of the people that watch this are resin casters themselves, I think this is going to be really cool. Even if you do other things, like soap making, this could be used for um, any anything really that, that's a liquid that um, ends up hardening over time. So really excited for that. All right, everyone. Well, we had a lot of fun uh, making these blanks for you guys. Uh, Julia, am I right in saying that we had a lot of fun? Yes. So um, we have these, all the pen blanks are made with box elder burl. This block I made a while ago with maple burl. I wanted to throw this in as well because the buckeye burl block didn't um, absorb as much dye as I thought. It still looks cool. I'm really happy with how all of the caster's choice colors came out in the resin portion. But anyway, um, they're all going to be going up as part of the giveaway. We're also going to be giving away um, the Caster's Choice powders that we showed you previously. Um, we're going to be having a link down in the description to enter for the giveaway. It's going to be using um, a program called Gleam. And what's really nice about that is you can get multiple entries, uh, one for just subscribing to the YouTube channel as well, but another for following me on Instagram. And then some other things like, you know, sharing the Instagram photo about the giveaway or something like that. So anyway, check that out in the description to enter the giveaway. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, hopefully we'll see Julia in some future videos too. Um, and thanks for watching. Anything you'd like to say? Okay, like, subscribe, <laughs> share, and comment for extra um, entries. entries. Okay, let me <laughs> no, 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 that was good. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.